Hey guys, so I have a request on toilet paper replacement, so I just want to run through that really quick. This is a hair dye bottle, and it, you can use it just like you would a bidet. You fill it with warm water. It's kind of shocking and not very fun if you use cold water. So, not hot water, just warm water. And you use it just to wash yourself off the same way that a bidet would, but it comes at a much lower price tag and um, great way to keep clean and using this you don't even have to use your hands and so there's less germ uh, transfer. You still need to wash your hands afterwards obviously but um, you just squirt it from the front or you can squirt it from the back and it's high powered enough that it really does wash very nicely. If you don't like that moist feeling then this next tip will help you uh, this is a cotton t-shirt and what you would do is you would cut it up into squares. I like squares that are about this big, so about 10 by 10. And what you do with that is that um, you would, if, if you had, had used this to wash off with, you would then take one of those squares and wipe yourself, pat yourself down. It would be relatively clean. Put it in a bucket and then later when you're washing your underwear, you run that through a wash cycle and um, and there you go. Very good, simple, easy, safe replacement for toilet paper. All you have to have is water. And uh, if you, for some reason, can't get a bottle like this, uh, you could kind of go back to the way that they cloth diapered, which was that they would use some kind of cotton fabric. And uh, what you do with that is you have a soak bucket that you put it in with a little bit of chlorine and water, and then you pour the water off into the toilet uh, after it's soaked before you're ready to put it in your washer. You make sure that whatever uh, Clorox bleach, whatever bleach you use is actually chlorine because a lot of the new types of whiteners or uh, Clorox or bleach or whatever, they don't actually have chlorine in them so they won't disinfect. So there's that. If you have old sheets, if you have old t-shirts, um, anything like that that's cotton that can be soaked in in uh, chlorine will work. Just make sure if you're on a septic system, you don't want to be pouring cups and cups and cups of chlorine down your septic system. Uh, it only takes like a tablespoon for one bucket of soaking water. And you don't want to let those cloths build up very much. You want to wash them regularly. They're not going to smell good. Um, and. Uh, it, 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 it should be straight, straightforward for any of you who've ever cloth diapered. It's just like doing cloth diapers. And um, I do think that this is a more hygienic use if you have had a, a bowel movement. And um, and then just maybe pat dry with, with rags. So hopefully that was helpful. And go ahead and let me know what you thought of this video. And we'll talk to you later.